Okay, homeschoolers. I hope you're having a good day today. So pull out your book, Life of Fred Apples, Math, and we are on chapter four, which is page 31, and it's going jogging at dawn. Fred closed the door to his office. He walked past the vending machines in the hallway. He ran down the two flights of stairs and out into the cold February morning. Kittens University has a cool school newspaper, the Kitten Caboodle. Big storm coming, Kansas. The weather is changing today. A dangerous surprise storm is coming. It will bring lots of snow and wind. The best place to be is inside. Do not go outside unless you really have to. And on the right hand side, it says Kitten's president. Our president has canceled all classes today because of the bad weather. Question, who did not read today's paper? You guessed it, Fred. When Fred started jogging, there was only a couple inches of snow on the ground. That was not unusual for Kansas in February. As he jogged, it started to snow harder and harder and the temperature was falling. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20 degrees, 15 degrees, 10 degrees, five, zero degrees, negative five degrees, negative 10 degrees, and negative 15 degrees. It was 15 degrees below zero. That is pretty cold and the snow was getting deeper and deeper. Then the wind picked up speed and blew off Fred's hat. Instead of his usual 10 mile jog, he decided to take a two mile jog. This shorter jog would take him by an apple tree on the university campus. Everyone at the university was allowed to pick apples from that tree. Fred was thinking of having an apple for his breakfast. The apple tree was on the north side of campus. Fred had not been to the north side for a long time. When he got there, he was in for a surprise. Here is what the apple tree looked like. In the summertime, that tree had lots of apples, but this was February. It was not apple time. Everywhere, when it starts to get cold, apple trees lose all of their leaves and apples. During the winter time, they are resting. When springtime comes, they start putting out new leaves and flowers. Apple trees are deciduous. Peach trees are deciduous. Plum trees are deciduous. Apricot trees are deciduous. Roses are deciduous. When you are about two years old, you have all 20 of your baby teeth. 10 are on the top and 10 on the bottom. 10 plus 10 equals 20. When you are about six or seven years old, you start to lose your baby teeth and get your permanent adult teeth. Since Fred is only five years old, he hasn't started losing his baby teeth yet. Baby teeth are called deciduous teeth. Please take out a sheet of paper and write your answers. After you are all done, you can check your work. You may press pause at any time to write your answers. Number one. When the temperature was falling, we were counting backwards by fives. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Let's count forward by fives from zero to 100. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, Please fill in the missing numbers to 100. Number two, 
5 plus 2 equals what? Number 3. We know that 10 plus 10 equals 20. Can you guess what 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals? Okay, now you can check your work. Here are the answers. Okay, that's your math lesson for today. Are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow for chapter five. Bye.